From the Zomba Plateau, Mount Molosa, Malawi, never a dull moment with this deposit. Unfortunately, there's not much color in the material from here. I have seen the occasional amethyst, but usually we're talking black, white, beige, and shades of yellow with the zircons. Here we have what appears to be a floater. Now, what I say floater, maybe doubly terminated would be the better uh, um, option to classify this as termination there, termination there. We don't know if this was sitting on a matrix. Little agerine crystals jutting out the side. Lots of detail on these guys. I think when you zoom into the still pictures, you'll also find that they are full of inclusions. Um, this one, I think this one would be from the, the old uh, Mount Malosa deposit in the Zomba Plateau, Malawi. It is pretty bright and lustrous, but not as bright and lustrous as the quartzes from Mount Mulanji in Malawi. Lovely see-through. So if you have if you have a strong light from behind, you can actually see right through them. You can see my finger there, or can you? No? And then when we turn it over, there's an absolutely different view from this point of display where we have these quartz crystals and almost a black rim around them. Absolutely natural smoky quartz with, of course, these agerines jutting out them and a multitude of quartz crystals sitting all around it. I, I love to call the, the, the Zomba Plateau, or Mount Melosa, a, a site where there are many chieftains and no warriors because what happens with these, these crystals, every single one of them goes in its own direction. There is no real determinable form. Uh, quartzes like that one would grow out there for some reason, that one jumps on there. Uh, uh, there's no real order, each guy's got his own, own mission.